Former Zambian President Rupia Banda, 85, uh, died on Friday after a battle with colon cancer. His family says he passed away at 1900 Central African uh, time this evening. Banda was Zambia's fourth president. He was in power from uh, 2008 to 2011. The late statesman was diagnosed with cancer two years ago. He has been receiving medical treatment ever since. For more on the legacy of the late Zambian president, uh, we are joined now by Zambian political analyst uh, Rengisai Chico Homero. A very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us. I believe that you're speaking to us from Lusaka. Uh, do share with us how people are receiving the news of uh, the former president's passing. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening to, to, to our viewers. Um, uh, it, it's, it's unfortunate and um, the, the news is just uh, trickling in to, to most of the Zambians. I, I'm actually in Arari, but this uh, very much in touch with the situation in in um, and the news is just tripping in, and uh, what we understand from the sources is, in as much as um, the president's uh, former president's health condition has been known, this was this came as a surprise to to to, to many people, as it wasn't being expected uh, to, to make full recovery. Um, but also, you, uh, I mean, president. Uh, Former President Banda has been uh, the, in the Zambian political landscape for over 50, uh, 50 years, uh, five decades, and he has held various positions from a uh, member of parliament through to being uh, president, though uh, for a very short time because he, he, he took over the mandate of President uh, Manawasa. He actually failed to win his own mandate when he, in, in 2011 when he had to contest against uh, uh, the then opposition leader, uh, uh, Michael Sutter. So um, it, some do have fond memories for him, but uh, of him uh, as a politician and someone who's been dominant in the uh, Zambian political space for a long time. But as a president, uh, his presidency was quite short-lived. It only lasted for, for three years. Let's talk about what he achieved during the time that he was head of state. Uh, so, um, uh, 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 president Banda inherited um, uh, President Manawasa's mandate and with the clear policies uh, against um, corruption and also um, uh, trying to open doors for investment. One of his biggest deals, uh, which then actually got him arrested later on, was the oil that he had actually managed to engage of our um, mining concessions um, as well around the copper, uh, copper belt. His um, reign coincided with the time when the commodity prices were going up in, in, in Zambia and then uh, metal prices were also going up globally and copper prices were picking up. And it, during his reign, um, uh, the GDP of Zambia managed to grow from to at, at, at the peak, it was about uh, 10% um, uh, growth rate in, uh, that was in 2010 into 2011. So that is the most uh, significant achievement. He managed to steer the economy and he managed to sustain the legacy of President Manawasa. That's really around anti-corruption, bring fiscal discipline, uh, enlarging the, uh, the tax base in, in Zambia and really opening up the space for, for fresh investments. Mm. Uh, let's just... Uh, talk a little bit more about his anti-corruption drive. Uh, I'd imagine that given what you're saying, that it would have come as a great disappointment, uh, the various allegations leveled uh, against his son with regards to some oil deals and uh, allegations of forgery. Yes. Ring Asai, are you still with us? Yeah, um, I, I, I think, um, yes, I, I, I'm still with you. Yes, you can go ahead. Hello? Yes, you can go ahead. I was asking about the allegations. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I, it, 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 okay well, let's see if we can try so and... It, it, in terms of the corruption, uh, 
Bring a side Chico Homero. Let's see if we can reconnect with you as a Zambian political analyst speaking to us uh, on the news of uh, a former president of uh, Zambia, Rupia Bandas, uh, passing this uh, after uh, he was battling colon cancer. The family says he died uh, at uh, 1900 hours Central African time. As you heard, uh, Mr. Chiko Horema saying that uh, it's uh, come as a surprise for some Zambians, uh, the news still uh, trickling in. But of course we'll see if we can follow up with the uh, uh, team, if we can get more reaction from there. That's uh, uh, it for now. Let's take a, a break. You're watching The Globe.